What's up guys, this is Kevin Reardon from Kevin Reardon Life and uh, sorry if any time during the video you hear some crazy uh, noise in the back, there's I guess the bathroom pipes in my bathroom are broke so uh, this guy is fixing and drilling the side of my house out, I have no idea um, but sorry in advance but anyway, I'm here to talk to you about uh, this fine little gem right here, the MCAM light, which we'll get to in a second but I've been into video for a really long time and photography and um, I like to shoot and edit a lot of different stuff and I've gone through a couple different um, iPhone attachments because the iPhone has a beautiful camera, it's the 8 megapixel camera for the iPhone and um, I have the iPhone 4S and uh, which I'm shooting this video with right now and I shoot basically all my videos with and um, it just does an amazing job, the camera on this thing, the 8 megapixel camera and the mirror imaging is just incredible so if you haven't got an iPhone you should probably switch over. Um, I believe the new iPhone 5 is going to be coming out sometime in the fall, maybe. I don't know for sure because I don't work for Apple, but um, I would think so because that's how Apple runs. So, um, I tried out, this was the first lens that I tried out, which is just a uh, regular zoom um, attachment lens. And it's cool, but it doesn't really showcase the iPhone and you kind of lose some of the quality when you use this thing. So, so I didn't really like this lens. So I did a little bit more shopping, and that's when I found the MCAM Lite, um, which uh, comes with an external microphone uh, that hooks into your headphone jack. Um, it also comes with a wide-angle lens, which is great for video shooting with the iPhone. And it also comes with a macro lens, which is also great for video shooting because you can get really close in on stuff and really get that fine detail. And this thing is just incredible. It's comfortable to hold, it's heavy duty, it's not going to break on you, it's not cheap plastic, it has so many attachments so you can hook stuff up like lights and dollies and external microphones and whatever your mind can come up with, this thing can help you create that and it's for professional use and just the average user. I'm somewhere in between. Um, I like to use Final Cut Pro um, to edit my videos and I've been video editing since uh, my sophomore year of high school and I've continued since and I went to um, uh, after high school, post high school, school uh, for broadcasting and um, video editing and stuff like that so I like to shoot and edit a lot so um, but I wouldn't call myself a professional because I can't make a living off of it. So we're going to dive into this awesome case right here right now on Kevin Reardon Life. Stay tuned. So here we are with the MCAM light, and this is the MCAM light itself. This is the hard case shell. Um, I mean, just the initial pickup, you know this thing means business. And um, it's, I don't know the exact material of it. It feels like um, either metal or, I'm not really sure, but it's heavy duty. Like, it's not gonna break anytime soon. Um, now the cool thing about it is it has these three um, attachment places on the bottom and it has two or sorry one on the top and then it also has this little uh, u-shape um, input in which you could put a uh, light in there or maybe a microphone it depends on um, what you have uh, to put in there so let's let, let me show you how easy this thing is to hook up so out of the box um, this thing comes with like I said earlier you get the yeah, the holster itself for the iPhone. Um, you get the wide angle lens, which is right here. And then you also get the macro lens, this guy right here. All of them come in the box, and you also get the 180 uh, rotation external microphone, which um, I would show you, but it's hooked up to my iPhone right now because I'm using it for audio to give you an idea of what it sounds like. Um, and from my experience, it's been doing an awesome job lately. Um, so, let's look further. Now, I, I ordered it on Amazon. I think I got it for um, $160 or something, I forget. But um, I also got it with this little light, uh, which does a pretty nice job. Um, flick it on, you know, it gives you a nice lighting. And then it also has the little U-shapes on the bottom, so you can hook that right into the top of that and uh, fasten it down, so you have yourself a nice light. 
So we'll get into that later. So to hook this thing up, first you put the macro lens on, which is right here. And everything just, uh, that's if I know which way it went on. <laughs> there we go. So you just screw that on. And then right over top of it goes the wide angle lens. And they are two separate lenses, obviously. So that's what it looks like with your lenses on there. Um, and then if you want to use the macro lens, just take it off and your macro lens is ready to go. Um, and then it also comes with this nice lens protector. So you can put that over there and keep your lenses safe when you're not using them. Now the cool thing about this is when you are, when the iPhone is in here, um, it does leave the charging port open on the side and then the headphone port um, because it's where the mic comes out of it and would shoot with normally. Um, to get it in there, people have been complaining that this thing is hard to get in there, hard to get out. I've had no issues. I usually put the bottom in and then slip the top uh, right into place and then to push it out, I just hold it a little bit to give it a little comfort um, and then push it out with the hole that they put there. Um, it has three different tripod places um, or you can use these for other things. I've been hooking my tripod up here so I can hook up the bar extender here and what I've been doing with this is you can plug this right into here, screw it in and that gives you a nice extension um, either for another camera you could hook up if you want to hook up another camera to it um, you could hook something like a secondary light up like so now you have a secondary light um, and you say well why would I need a secondary light well I went out of my way and I ordered this light right here. Uh, this light has 36 LEDs in it and I went out of my way and um, bought this guy which has 160 LEDs in it and it's the CN-160 uh, LED video light. Um, this thing is cool because it comes with three different um, filters. The filters it comes with for this uh, 160 LED one is um, you get this nice clear attachment filter, which fits and they fit, they slide in, they're hard plastic, they're great, um, comes with this little carrying case for your filters, and you also get the purple one, and this orange one, which are just diffusers, um, and they work awesome. Um, the nice thing about this light is it also has a dimmer on it, um, it has this dimmer on the side, so when you flick it on, thing I mean really it really gets some power to it um, also has this test on the back my battery's a little low on there um, that's one thing this thing does suck up batteries I haven't gotten to do a real good full test on it I've been using it today it hasn't worn out on me yet but I think it's getting to the end of its life um, so I had to suggest getting one or two of these uh, Sony lithium batteries I think it will also take a Panasonic lithium it will take, um, what else does this take? It will take um, AA batteries. So all lithium or uh, AA batteries, and I believe it takes six AA batteries to power this thing. But I just have a regular Sony lithium rechargeable battery in there. And the cool thing about this is um, for that secondary lighting, you can pop this right on the top. screw it in and now look at that now this thing is looking like you need some serious video business and um, I've been shooting some uh, videos with it I had it out yesterday at my buddy's pool um, which I just saw that my computer finished uploading that so um, after you get done watching this video head over there and check out what this thing is really made of um, I did some poolside shooting so really check that out so overall this MCAM light is just fantastic. You saw me just transform this thing into from a metal casing um, to this really big looking professional piece of equipment. And that's the great thing um, about this. It's not just for a professional or it's not just for an amateur shooter. It's for everybody. And this thing really does, um, 
it, 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 it looks professional and it, it does exactly what it looks like. It makes a professional looking video, especially if you're shooting with the iPhone, because uh, after all, that's the only thing you can shoot with. Um, you can either shoot with the iPhone 4 or the iPhone 4S. I've been shooting with the iPhone 4S, so I've been shooting in 1080 video. So I highly suggest you go out and get yourself one of these. These things are incredible. Um, and um, get a few attachments for it. If you're going to go out and get this, go out and get it all. Get the uh, end cam light. Get the the bar attachment. Get a smaller light. Get a bigger light. Um, get a tripod. Make sure you have a good tripod to put all this stuff on. And after all that is said and done, your lens is going to get dirty. So make sure you get some um, lens cleaner with a nice soft rag that comes with it and um, you will be having a ball, you will find so much stuff to shoot um, and if you're like me you will make sure this thing gets put to good use. Um, so overall it's a 10 out of 10 stars in my book. There's not really much that I think could be added to this. Um, it's not too heavy, it's not too light, it packs away easily, it keeps the iPhone protected, it has so many different attachments to it, you can do so much with this and it really is, a, I mean, every, every, I think everybody that uses this will have a, basically a custom case for it because you can hook up dollies to it, I mean, like, what case can do that? You can hook up dollies so you can uh, roll it across the film scene and really get that shot you're looking for. Um, so. Please be sure to check out my other video of the sample uh, video. It's called MCAM Light Sample, um, and it's just a minute and 40, minute and 35 second video, I think, um, of shooting with this thing by a poolside, and I got some flowers in there, and I'm using the macro and the wide angle lens um, lenses. So, thanks for watching my video, guys. Uh, be sure to subscribe and um, check back for more videos on different electronic things that I've been playing with. Peace out.